Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a video on how to boost your FPS on Apex Legion in 2022. I think my last guide was like two years ago, so I decided to just do an update for it. So we're going to start with optimizing Windows, make sure everything is fine, and after that we will go inside of the game. So the first thing that you want to do is write game mode, and make sure that you're running game mode. Two years ago I said to not use game mode. But for the past eight months, game mode is really good. Uh, they did a lot of update for it. And uh, you want to, to make sure that you're using it and your computer will focus like at 100% on the game that you try to run. After that, for the Xbox game bar, it's still, it's still not good. So just like remove it. Uh, put this one at off. It's causing stuttering and also crashes for Apex. So super important to remove that. And for the capture part... Uh, make sure that your background recording is at off and your recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend is uh, graphic setting. Write graphic setting in your search and open it. If you have an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent, you will have an option called Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. Make sure this one is at on. You will need to restart your computer to uh, apply it. Um, it will help with bottleneck with video cards like 1050, the 1050 Ti, 1060, 2060. Uh, you will not see any difference if you have like a mid-range slash IN video card, but it helps with like entry-level video card. So you can expect 2 to 4% boost in your FPS with this. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you're downloading the latest AMD driver, NVIDIA driver, and even Intel. If you have an Intel CPU and uh, you're using the integrate uh, graphic on it, make sure that you're going on their website and you update it. Another thing uh, that I can't recommend you if you're struggling with your FPS, it's the uh, new super resolution from Radian. And NVIDIA have pretty much the same. It's NVIDIA image scaler uh, or scaling. And uh, you can expect the same image quality and pretty much the same amount of boost of FPS. I have two de de dedicated guides on my YouTube channel, so you can definitely look at them. If you have an NV NVIDIA, go on the NVIDIA one. And if, if you have Radian, go in, in Radian. I will explain you quickly. So you just activate your super resolution. So for me, my monitor is in 2K. I activate this. When I go to Apex, I put the game at 1080p. And the software will upscale it back to 2K. And normally I can gain like a nice 18 to 20% in my FPS. So a big boost for FPS. It can help a lot of people. So just look at my dedicated guide for this. Another thing that I can recommend, if you're struggling with your uh, RAM, you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC, I have a software called Intelligence Standby List Cleaner. I will put the link on my video description. This is pretty much the guy who did DDU. So it's it's a good software. Don't uh, don't don't be scared to download it. Um, so you need to look at your total system memory. Normal normally you divide by two. So I'm gonna stop this. So for example, if you have eight gig of RAM, you just write four thousand here and you press start, and it will purge the standby list and system working set. And it, you gotta make sure that everything is always optimized uh, because sometimes when you don't have a lot of RAM, it, you can struggle with your RAM and you can have stutter because of that. So this is a good software that will help you with stuttering. So this is pretty much it, guys. Um, the, the one last thing is you can look at my overclocking guide for CPU and GPU. It really depends on your thermal, the type of component that you have. But Again, it can help you with your FPS. So now let's go inside of the game. So now, just before to go in the uh, setting menu, uh, the data center is really important. Make sure that you're using the one with the lower ping and without any packet loss. So for a reason that I don't know if it's randomly at Amsterdam and you're getting 122 uh, ping, it's pretty bad. So make sure that you're using the lowest one with ping and that you don't have any packet loss. After that, we're gonna press continue. We're going to go to the settings. So press escape, go to settings and in video. So display mode, the first one, make sure that you're playing full screen. Super important to make sure that everything is running smoothly without any stuttering. Also, if you're using super resolution from AMD, you will need to play full screen because if you're using borderless, it will not work. Aspect ratio, I just use native for me. So 16 by 9 resolution, I'm using native. Again, if you're uh, planning to use the NVIDIA image scaler or the super resolution from AMD, you will need to lower the resolution here and the software will uh, upscale it back to your native resolution. Brightness, I don't touching it. Fill of view. Fill of view will affect your FPS. A lot of people don't know that, 
But if you put your field of view at 110 versus like 80, you will have a big difference in your FPS because you're seeing more stuff in front of you and you need to render them. So you will lose FPS. So I recommend if you have like an entry level computer, you're struggling with your FPS, start at 90 FOV. And uh, after the old guide, if you're still struggling, go with 80 in your F FOV and you can expect a nice boost with that. Uh, FOV ability scaling, just stay at uh, enable. Sprint view shake, I'm going with minimal because uh, it's better for your uh, image qu uh, clarity. So when you're uh, sprinting and stuff, you don't want everything moving like crazy. So that's why I'm using minimal. For the V-Sync, V-Sync, I'm using disable because I have a free sync monitor. So if you have a free sync or a G-Sync monitor, don't use the uh, V-Sync. But if you have, um, if you don't have those technology and you have a lot of tearing when you're playing and you don't like that, you can activate your V-Sync if you want. Uh, the only thing is it will add input lag. So it really depends on do you like or not your tearing and can you tolerate them. So it will be your decision. NVIDIA Reflex. This one, make sure that you also uh, enable it if you have it. It will help you with uh, to reduce your latency, so that's pretty good. Adaptative resolution, you don't want to use that. After that, anti-aliasing. This one, I'm not using it. You have two choices. I don't like anti-aliasing in this game. It makes my game blurry, and also you will lose FPS. So I recommend to uh, removing it. After that, texture streaming budget. It really depends on the amount of VRAM, not your RAM. The amount of VRAM on your GPU. So, for an example, if you have like a 3 gig uh, VRAM of video card, you can play medium or low. If you have like 6 gig, I recommend high or even very high. And if you have more, just go with insane. It will not be an issue and it will not affect your FPS. Texture filtering, if you have something like 4 years like old, uh, honestly, like everybody can run like 8x. Uh, if you're struggling with like a very old video card, go with 4 or 2x. And if you have something recent, 16x will not be a problem. It helps a little bit with the clarity of your image, but uh, it will not affect your FPS. After that, MPM occlusion quality. This one will give you a lot of FPS. If I compare I to disable, you can expect a nice 12% boost in your FPS. Your game will look flat, but it will be more clear. Uh, like the clarity of your image will be very good to, you know, see enemies and stuff like that. So I recommend to go with disable. Sun shadow uh, coverage, go with low. Sun shadow detail, low. You can expect 4% boost in your FPS with those one. Spot shadow detail, I'm going with disable. If I compare very high to disable, you can expect a nice 14% boost in your FPS. Some people playing at low because they feel like the... Um, uh, the shadow will be a little bit more visible when you know you're fighting in in some place and you don't know where the enemy is. You can look at the floor and oh okay the the, um, the shadow is there. So it really depends where you are in your guide. Me, I just go with disable with this one. Volumetric lighting, you can expect a nice five percent boost when you go enable to disable. So disable this one. Dynamic spot shadow disabled. You can expect a three percent boost here. For model detail, uh, honestly, go with medium because I saw like a 1% difference between low and medium in your FPS. So you can definitely play at medium over here. Effect detail, I recommend low when you're fighting and you, you know, you, you have some grenades, you're shooting and stuff like that. And you're getting like crazy drop when you're fighting. It's probably because of your effect detail. So super important to go with low with this one. Impact mark, I recommend to go with low. Don't do disable because sometimes when you're shooting further in front of you, you want to know like, is it hitting where I'm hitting? So you will have a nice effect that will show you where you're shooting. So go with low and it will not affect too much your FPS. And the last one is the ragdoll. I recommend to just put this one at low. It takes a lot of resources on your CPU and even Apex at like this is a game that's taking a lot of resources. So if you have like a two core or four core with eight tread, don't go too crazy with the ragdolls. And honestly, you don't really need that to play this game. So just go with low. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.